Hey, this is Matt Boggs, good to see you. And today I wanted to answer a question that was posted in the comments of another video that I created by a woman named Joyful Gabby. And I thought the question was brilliant, and so it not only applies to me, but I'm sure that it applies to you too as well. So Joyful Gabby writes this. She says, for some reason, I've been getting guys asking me questions that are way too intense for a first date. They wanna know about negative things from my past. What are my low points and about my past relationships? What do you do to get the conversation back on track to just the simple stuff and positivity? And Joyful Gabby, I think this is a great question for all of us because we've all been on dates and sometimes, and it may or may not even be the person's fault, but it's just their habit, their habitual way of creating conversation is to, they want to come up with something interesting. And so what a lot of people do to create interesting is they go to drama. That's a good sign that the person you're with may not be a great match for you if you don't like to go to drama to get interesting. Right? There's a couple ways people get interesting. They either get interesting by going through a downward spiral of criticism and negative energy, or they get interesting by expanding themselves, by talking about expansive, positive, forward-moving topics in their own life. So here's an easy way to respond to someone. If you're on a date and they wanna go down the negative track, you don't wanna follow them down that negative track, use the porcupine technique that I've described in some other videos. What's a porcupine technique? That is when someone asks you a question that you don't want to answer, it's like being thrown a spiny porcupine. And if someone throws you a spiny porcupine, you don't want to hold on to it, so you toss it right back. So you can ask them a question in return and get the conversation back to where you want it to go. So when someone wants to take you down a negative path and asks you like, hey, what's something that you really hated about your exes or how horrible were they? Tell me about some of these experiences. You can simply say this, hey, let's not go down a negative path. You know, I'm a person who believes that everything that happened in our past has the power to make us stronger if we learn from it and that our history does not determine our destiny. I'm way more interested in where we're going. So let me ask you a question. If you could be doing anything that you wanted in the world or go anywhere you wanted in the world, if you just had a magic wand, where would you go? Well, what is it that you would be doing? And it's as simple as that. Just reframe the question into what it is that you want to be talking about and toss that question right back in his direction. So here's the added benefit of doing this. See, high quality men love a woman with a vision. We love women who are ambitious, women who have stuff going on in their life, women who are moving in a forward direction. So when you start talking about this, you're actually going to ignite high quality men. They're going to be attracted to this. Because everyone, we're all, we're all attracted to people who are moving forward, people who are growing in their lives. Because as we move forward, as we grow, as we overcome challenges, as we become better versions of ourselves, what happens? We actually release life energy, and that feels good. You may have heard it said that men love a challenge, right? Like we've heard that, that's what we say in society. But most women misinterpret this, and they think it means playing hard to get. Well, that's one level of challenge, but that's actually a really low level of challenging a man. The best way to challenge a man and to ignite attraction is to challenge him to become the best version of himself. Well, how do you do that? You challenge him to be the best version of himself by becoming the best version of yourself. So the, how do you do that? The question becomes, what risks can you take to move yourself forward? What decisions can you make? What bold action can you engage in to really become the best version of yourself? And here's what's cool is that when you do that and you keep your life on a positive direction, right? You protect yourself from negative conversations. You take these bold actions. You will set yourself so far apart from other women who allow themselves to go down negative trends, who aren't growing, who aren't evolving, that you're going to attract an amazing high quality man. And when he sees you, he's gonna be like, man, you are the woman I have been looking for my entire life. Where have you been hiding my entire life? And all because you decided to stay in that positive vibe and grow yourself. It's very, very powerful. So for Joyful Gabby and anyone else 
who had this situation in their lives where they want to know how to keep conversations in a positive direction on your day. I hope that this serves you. Now, I would love to hear from you. Post a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you click subscribe so you can get the latest and greatest videos. And as always, there's a link to a great resource for you that will help expand the love in your life and help you manifest your man. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon.